Your Excellency, uh, the Deputy President, and of course I'm addressing you for the first time, the judge and uh, my friend, I don't know whether she called you a professor, I think you, you deserve being there, Dr. JJ, and mostly, Bwana Mungu asifiwe. Kuna mtu hapa anaitwa Mwiru. Huyu mtu huyu huyu. It's a man the kikuyus that have made me. Na ningependa kusema hivi. Mheshimiwa mtukufu. Kama rais. Leo ningetaka nije na Wangoi, my first born daughter, that four years old. Mama yake anatoka kwako. Sijui kama ulikuwa unajua na mimi. Watu wananionanga tu kama kichaa, wewe mtu mtu ya bangi. <laughs> Lakini ile bangi mimi huongea juu yake ni ile ya kutengeneza mazao. Ile ya kutengeneza silaha kama Israeli. Ile ya kutengeneza dawa sio ya kuvuta. <laughs> Na ningependa pia kusema kabla sijaendelea kwamba Mheshimiwa Raila Odinga Mheshimiwa Eugene Wamalwa na Mheshimiwa Pita Munya wamenituma nikuletee pole. Na Munya akanyongezea kidogo ndoto yake ambaye ni MCA akasema ena na e, kama ataruhusiwa kuongea sawa kama ataruhusiwa nyongee. Munya ako na wewe. Na ile kitu kingine ambayo nili niliangalia bwana governor nilikuwa nafikiria nitapigwa na mawa hapa. Manake kule Bungoma kwetu bwana makamu rais nataka wende waangalie kwa nini kwa kikuyu watu wapigani mawe wana siasa. Kwa nini Bungoma peke yake ndio yuko watu wanapigana siasa na wenyewe wanajulikana. You are the deputy president. You have the authority and the ability to find out why because you have the machinery yeah. and if i may tell you the people who are beating others are the people you people have given power kupiga watu na mawe nashukuru pia kuona my friend sabina chege who has been my client sabina ulikuwa hapa ukusema ungesema tu ndio watu ndio mzio kichaa na hapa pia nimeona mambo mengi kuna timu hapa inaitwa wajakoya fc Sijui kama uko na habari. Iko huruma. Ningependa makamu wa rais kwa rafiki yetu ambaye tumeanza naye leo. Maana this is the first time I've shook shaken the hand of this man. Na nilikuwa nafikiria hata nichapa kofi. Lakini habari hizi ni nyewe. Pero I'm extending an olive branch to you my brother. Kashagwa. That siasa ni ile ya nje. Lakini sisi vile tuko sasa hizi Kenya tuko sasa sawa. Hatuko sasa sawa matuko. Isipokuwa ile mambo mengine hapa na pale tuta hiyo tutatengeneza vile itakuwa. But I'm inviting you to come to Mumias to have a cup of tea with the Wanga people. Wow. Probably. And this is following what you have done in the Kikuyu land. Kikuyu's brought me to be who I am today. JJ Kamoda educated me. Yes. James Ngiwe educated me. Yeah. Nathan Kahare educated me. Yes. When I was at Chokora in Nairobi. Come back. Kikuyu nation, you kill one, ten are born. <laughs> You are the Bastia Naim Lima is a sacred mountain. Ninyi ambao mnakaa hapa kwa hii mlima hamjui sisi tunajua. Without hii mlima sisi hatueni mahali. Aha. Kweli ndio. Ndio unaona mimi nikienda kwa mlima kila mtu anasema wajakoya. Na bwana JJ, Bishop JJ. Unajua we are bearing. My wife namna hii wako hivi wanajuana. Sani hapa anacheza mpira UK wangu pia anacheza wanajuana ile kitu sijui tutaungana namna gani niko na kadota kanafanya medicine <laughs> Labda tutaongea hiyo maneno baadaye <laughs> This is not the first time and I don't know how Mr Governor Bwana Governor I don't know why can't you come to Bungoma where you have got a governor who is a friend to the deputy president and tell them to leave this culture of strong throwing na kupayuka na kutukanana Kenya ile tulio nayo today hatutaki kutukanana tena tumechoka kikuyus do machua politics na sisi wa lawyer tunapigana
Na mkae mkijua kwamba hajakuwa iko kwa debit 2027. Na kachagua. Takunywa chai na wewe tuone vile tutatengeneza hiyo maneno. Asandeni sana. Haya. Tusikilize wajakoya na makofi. Nafikiri wajakoya amesema yote, si ndio? Amesema ako sawa? Ako sawa si? Ako sawa, yuko sawa. Ako sawa. Hiyo maneno yingine watu wanasema hayuko. Ah, uh, nimkaribisha pia rafiki yangu na ambaye kwa sasa ako busy sana akiangalia mambo ya trade na mambo ya kuona kwamba uchumi wa injiu unaendelea vizuri sana CS Moses Kuria